Hello everyone, let us try to understand uh, the concept of BPC in S4. So planning in ERP system was like uh, cost center planning, internal order planning, COPA planning, PCA planning, general ledger planning and uh, activity based costing planning and product cost planning. So like this uh, different modules have planning tools within these respective module and uh, pretty much you can do all the functions of planning for example copy your actuals to plan and um, report actuals comparison to plans that you can do pretty much in the sap erp modules itself but what was lacking in this uh, module was like there was no reconciliation meaning if you do planning in cost center planning and also if you perform the planning in profit center accounting planning so there is no automatic reconciliation between these two modules in the same way uh, if you conduct the planning in copa module and then again copa module gives two uh, two different uh, modules altogether one is account based copa and another is costing based copa so again planning in costing based is not related to the account based copa and the same way um, the relation between the cost center planning so the cost central planning you are using cost elements and also cost centers and at the same time the GL accounts also have you know planning structures so if you plan by GL accounts there is no reconciliation between GL planning and cost central planning it's so much confusion as far as the reconciliation is concerned okay so this that's, that is a major uh, challenge in the ERP planning area and then uh, there is no unified presentation of the data that you you know think of from the planning perspective and also organizations do have a structured sequential approach uh, during the year to come up uh, with uh, the planned values and then uh, reconcile these planned values overall and get the approval from the top level management so the planning functions were missing and the overall on the sequence uh, budgeting sequence of a corporation so these were the challenges in planning applications in the ERP system itself so going uh, fast forward to S4 um, in the new versions of SAP so you can call it the new ERP or is it the S4 system S4 stands for simple fourth generation system so everything is simplified basically the data structures are simplified so let us look at uh, how the planning activity is happening in s4 system so basically the s4 system has got all the data like um, you are the data structures uh, the new tables arrived into the s4 system where pretty much a universal journal table kind of tables are given part of the s4 system so you perform the planning on the s4 system directly and pretty much you use the business planning and consolidation application framework so again the bpc is a separate framework um, or separate product given by sap for planning so now the bpc is pretty much merged into s4 system so bpc for that that's being called as a bpc for s4 and then um, this particular tool provides you to do directly the planning activities on the Microsoft Excel uh, with Office add-on. So again, uh, you can use uh, ABAP uh, related uh, NetWeaver uh, front-end or you can use the Microsoft Excel Office uh, add-in for the planning purpose and then um, pretty much the data for the actuals come from ACDOCA table some people call ADOCA but it's just accounting document actuals data right so the data comes from the actuals into this particular you know planning comparison uh, BPCS4 
and then the plan data comes from the AC DOC P table, let's say P for plan and A for actuals. So the actuals and plan in the same system, pretty much, and it's a pretty much you know using the BPC functionality, and uh, you don't need a replication from the BPC you know perspective, and it's real time uh, because you are working on the planning on the actual you know SO system itself no separate BPC system because this BPC system is merged into SO system itself so that is the reason there is no BPC system and the simplification is at core meaning like it is using SAP standard delivered business uh, warehouse content that is called embedded BW so the embedded BW is the key functionality in this S4 system planning. It is not giving a separate BW system. So when I say that there is no separate BPC system, so the original BPC was on a BW system. So now the BW is ported into embedded BW here itself for the purpose of planning itself, right? So this, so you still have BW for your heterogeneous systems to integrate but when it comes to the planning application uh, within ERP so this is like I'm calling it as a ERP you can call as a new ERP or S4 system itself so within the S4 system all the planning functions which were there part of your you know CCA planning PCA planning COPA planning everything now you know pretty much can be done using embedded BW with BPC itself. So that is the um, great improvement from the previous versions of SAP. So part of the simplification, SAP has promised that it eliminates the redundancy everywhere. So that is what like simplification at core and it is giving embedded BW, BPC functions, sometimes they call it as integrated business planning for finance now it's no more called as integrated business planning for finance but it's called bpc for s4 and interestingly even though bpc also contains the consolidation piece here when it comes to the planning uh, so the embedded bw and the planning function so it's like bpc portion of the bpc which is like planning only is used part of this particular framework for the consolidation purpose SAP is giving some other tools for consolidating of course you can still go ahead and consolidate in your uh, traditional BPC system or you can use um, real-time consolidation components provided by SAP okay so this is what um, the way that SAP is changing from the traditional planning framework within different module to unified framework using BPC and also Microsoft Excel um, on the functionality. So again, in uh, future sessions, I'll explain about more technical details of how this overall framework is put together from the operational point of view. But one takeaway here is that no more reconciliation problems, no more replication problems, and all planning functions are available across the modules in a single table which is ACDOCP table of course here I have written as A table which is actuals but there is a P table for planning SAP has given some kind of um, like add-ons to get the data and push the data uh, it's like baddies are given for the ACDOCP table and also SAP delivered uh, some kind of business apps you know, part of the Fury and uh, these Fury apps access ACDOCP table and ACDOCA table so this is the way the planning functionality is happening so please visit um, for a demo at um, www.simplefinancesupport.com thanks for watching this video